welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by my clothing rack here today, I wanted to share a quick haul with you. I have been doing quite a bit of shopping because I'm in the process of losing weight and I'm kind of in that weird phase where I'm in between sizes. And actually a couple of these pieces are running big on me, but they're still comfortable so I'm not really gonna exchange them, but we'll get into detail on each piece as I try them out for you. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so why not start with what I have on at the moment, which is this incredibly comfortable t-shirt dress. And this I got off of ASOS, and it's actually from the brand One Day. The other ASOS items are from the brand ASOS, but you know, we'll get into that later. Um, and don't you worry, I'm gonna have all of the items linked down below for your convenience if you're interested in any of the pieces. So as you can see, I do have a couple of black clothing items, you know, I was kind of in that funk where I was only wearing black and gray, but now for, you know, what's what's left of spring and coming into summer, I think my new color obsession is like this muted pink or, I don't know if muted pink, dusty rose, cream, beige kind of a situation and yeah, I just thought I'd point that out. Um, so. Another thing from ASOS that I got is this other t-shirt dress, but this is definitely more of a sporty kind of vibe and it's more of a fitted fit, if that makes any sense. This one is more of a relaxed fit, this one is a bit more fitted. Um, both items are size 16 US, um, but it really depends on the brand that you buy off of ASOS. Each brand varies in sizing. Um, and I find that at least the ASOS brand runs a bit big and especially a bit long because I am very short, I'm 5'3", so usually dresses, skirts that I order off of ASOS are very long on me. So another dress that I got off of ASOS is this very beautiful, vibrant, yellow off-the-shoulder dress and as you can see this one I kind of feel is a bit big on me but it's still very comfortable so to run around do errands that kind of a thing you know I don't mind uh, it being a bit looser on me um, but of course you're welcome to leave your opinions down below um, but I don't think I'm gonna be returning it uh, I still think it's very comfortable and the last item that I got from ASOS is this very pretty off-the-shoulder top. Now this is definitely more of a going out top. It's not, you know, everyday running errands kind of thing. Well, at least not for me. You could do whatever you like with your outfits. But this one is definitely more of a going out top for me. Um, this one is actually from the regular website. The other items are from ASOS Curve. This one is a size 14 US if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is a size 14 US and it's from the brand ASOS on the regular website, not the Curve. Now, moving on to another store, I think I'm gonna quickly mention this other top that I have here. This one is from Anthropology. This top is definitely more of a relaxed fit. You know, I really, really like tops that come in at the waist and then flare out because, you know, that's what I feel complements my figure the most. But this is just so freaking comfortable. I absolutely love it. And it's one of these tops that you don't have to really think too much. Just toss on a pair of jeans with it and run out the door. Nothing too fancy, very easy breezy. Now, the other store I wanted to quickly mention as well is one that I don't go to that often. But when I go, I find really good pieces, which is Old Navy. And Old Navy also carries plus size um, items, which is great. I personally have never tried their jeans because I know you could get plus size jeans online. I don't think they carry the bigger, bigger sizer, bigger sizers, the bigger sizes in store. Um, but you know, either way, while I was there, I saw this top and it was so vibrant that it called out to me. I really really like it it is a little bit on the sheer side so be very careful with that but I really once again really like this kind of peplum style thing I think it complements my figure and yeah the other item is this vibrant orange top once again this one is kind of more um, 
it's a bit more straight than I would usually go for because it kind of has a peplum illusion, but it really doesn't flare out as much as you might think. But I still really like it. It's very, very comfortable and definitely appropriate for kind of an everyday use. Okay, so now moving on to Torrid. And I kind of been in a rut with Torrid because I haven't been liking the pieces they've been bringing out. But I did swing by and I saw this and I just thought it was so cute and appropriate for everyday wear. Um, you know, nothing too special, but with like every piece of clothing, you could dress it up or dress it down. It's whatever you make of it. I've been really enjoying wearing this with my Adidas. Um, and with some really nice accessories and it looks very cute and very girly. And so. the other dress I wanted to mention is from Revdolls.com which is a great website if you're a plus size gal like myself. Um, and this is a very, very cute little black dress once again off the shoulder and it has this really fun cut out here which you know you'll be able to see on me but not on the dress because it's black on black. Um, this one, unfortunately, is running quite big on me, um, but I think that since it looks bigger on me, it looks a little bit more elegant or sophisticated. I don't know, when I put it on the very first time when it actually fit me nice and snug, it looked very cute, very party, let's go out, but now that it's a little bit bigger and a little bit longer on me, you know, since my... The boute is reducing in size. Um, I don't know, I really like the look still, you know, with some very nice, more elegant accessories. I think it'll work out really well. Now this I bought a very long time ago, but it's still on the website and it's actually very reduced in price. It's, I believe it's like $17 more or less. So I'll have that link down below and if you guys like this item, I suggest you get it immediately because I really like it. I think it really yells summer. And the very last item I have to share with you guys is for my K-pop lovers out there. Now do not ask me why I purchased this because it is so ridiculously overpriced. I believe it was like $40 and it is this XO themed jean jacket. Now it does come in two different washes, in this lighter wash and a darker wash. I thought the lighter wash would be more appropriate for spring, summer. Just trying to validate my purchase, but not really working. Um, and yeah, so it has XO written in the front on the sleeves and it has the XO logo on the back. And if I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys, if you are crafty enough, definitely DIY something like this don't purchase it, um, but I'm not that crafty. You know, I, I contemplate it like, hmm, can I do that myself? No chimes, you're too lazy to do something like that yourself. So I bought it, but if you can, save your money and do it yourself. Um, it's probably gonna be even cuter. Oh, and also I should mention that if you do decide to take a peek of it online, they do have a very accurate size chart there. So it depends on the article you're interested in. They'll have a different size chart for each article because they're all made in different places. These jackets in particular are made in Korea. So you know that Asian sizes run a little bit smaller. This one is actually not that bad. It fits. It's a little bit snug, but nothing too uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, just thought that was worth mentioning. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this very quick haul. I know that I did the rundown a little bit fast um, and I apologize for that. But like I said, I'll have all of the items listed down below if you're interested in any piece in particular. And like always, all of my links will be down below so that we can stay connected. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so that you're notified every time I put out a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for stopping by and until next time.